Welcome to St. John Newman Church. We're so glad you're here. Today is the 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Hello and welcome to St. John Newman Parish. Uh, I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend. Maybe a little bit hot this weekend, but you know, it's typical for the end of June, the beginning of July. And with that in mind, you know, during this week, this Thursday, we celebrate the independence of our country as we celebrate Independence Day or the 4th of July. I hope that you all have a wonderful celebration, a joyous celebration, a safe uh, celebration, so that I can see you on the other side of this holiday on next Sunday. But I, I pray that it's um, you drink lots of water <laughs> if you're outside and enjoy your barbecues. As I um, was thinking about things, I've been thinking about it for a little while now, is you were very blessed that when um, the diocese, it was the diocese and now archdiocese, uh, sets up a new parish, they purchased the land for us. And then after 10 years after the first building is built, we have to start paying um, that mortgage off for the land. And this particular parish has done a great job of paying down that land loan reduction. We, it's always the first Sunday of the month. We, the second collection is always for the land loan debt re reduction. And it's because we have to pay off the land that all of our buildings are sit sitting on. And I was thinking, I wanted to give a unique challenge out to all of us to think about and see how you might respond uh, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could have a celebration before our building is done, that the land is all paid for? It's potentially possible. Um, the, uh, the current amount of debt we have on the land is about $168,000. Typically we pay $15,000 to $16,000 a month to pay down that debt. If we could get it down, get, get that second collection up, especially if the eye of getting it paid off before we move into the new building, wouldn't that be wonderful? I'd love to have a, uh, a symbolic mortgage burning party uh, for that. But also, you know, it'd be good to have that paid off before we move into our new church because shortly after we move into our new church, we'll have to start paying on the loan for that structure. And it's gonna be a lot more, but, but it, I just think as something to celebrate because of all your hard work and all of your donations over the years, we've been able to pay it down to just 168,000 now. And uh, I think it was originally 3.5 million. I don't know for sure. I was talking with Father Pete, the founding pastor, and he threw out that number. I don't know if he knew it was the exact number though. But that's pretty incredible. So over the last 10 years, you guys have been paying on it. And thank you, and uh, may God bless you. And that, once again, that's not this weekend's collection, that's next week's collection. If you wanna help out with that, please uh, make your checks out for next weekend. Thank you, and God bless. Father Roy would like to thank everyone for their love and kind wishes, especially last week at our going away receptions. Best of luck, Father Roy, God bless you. Please pray for the repose of the soul of Loretta Rodriguez, whose funeral mass will be on Monday, July 1st at 10 a.m. Please pray for the repose of the soul of George R. Kieser Jr., whose funeral mass will be on Tuesday, July 2nd at 10 a.m. Just a reminder, the parish and faith formation offices will be closed this Thursday for Independence Day. Please join us for First Friday Eucharistic Adoration on Friday, July 5th. Adoration begins after the 8 a.m. Mass and continues until 7 p.m. A sign-up sheet is located in the gathering space for you to choose a time to participate. Just a reminder, there will be no First Friday Youth Night this Friday, July 5th. Our Faith Formation offices will open again beginning July 1st for fall registration. Please visit them as soon as possible for the best choice of class times for Children's Faith Formation and the Confirmation Program. For all the news on what's happening here at St. John Newman, pick up a bulletin on your way out of Mass today and have a blessed week.